Here are five comic books to pick up that will add immediate value to your collection. Hey there, I'm starting a new uh, series of videos, uh, and in this first video we're going to take a look at a, kind of a recap of uh, comic book value picks that I have been sharing on social media, on uh, both Instagram and Twitter, and wanted to uh, also share them here on YouTube in a little bit of a, a retrospective to kind of just see have the values changed since I originally shared uh, these books on social media. So it'll be kind of an interesting uh, analysis here to see even in the short term have these values held up, have they, how have they changed and so forth. So the goal is to pick out one book uh, about once a day or at some regular frequency and share it with you. And the analysis behind it is to find a book that has some relative affordability uh, when you're purchasing the book raw uh, that has a, a very, very large potential gain if you were to get that book graded. You know, typically graded value is increased for a number of reasons, first appearances, uh, scarcity and so forth, but there are also some reasons that really come down to condition, which is a really it's a huge part of how I view comic books and collect them, where I believe that uh, condition is the ultimate comic book variant. What I mean by that is there are some books that command top dollar in a nine point eight because it's traditionally a tougher book. It's it's a book that has a particular design to it that really lends itself to your more common defects, spine ticks, creases, and things like that. Um, so getting that particular book graded um, in a, a high grade, a 9.8, 9.6, uh, or even a 9.4, um, adds some additional value to the book. So let's get to the five books. Electra Assassin number five. This is the limited series written by Frank Miller uh, with legendary art by Bill Sienkiewicz, who did uh, the interiors, the colors, and the cover. Um, the cover features the character Chastity in the story. And as you can see from the cover itself, really, really uh, extremely tough with that um, that sort of magenta style or pinkish uh, color. Um, color on the cover it just really really lends itself to a lot of uh, dings and nicks so this was originally shared out on april 24th uh, 2022 with a fair market value of six dollars and 59 cents um, last sale reported of 309 dollars and a 30 dollar 9.4 average so you can really see the discrepancy there between uh you know nine four which is way more common and then uh, the the scarcer 9.8 of this particular book um, from the uh, since the time I posted this, uh, it hasn't changed all that much. Uh, the fair market value is down uh, a, about nine percent, from six dollars and fifty nine cents down to six dollars. But the uh, graded sales are pretty much the same. Transformers number seven. Uh, this is from Marvel Comics, released in August of nineteen eighty five. Uh, it's a single digit uh, issue of the. Transformers series from Marvel, um, written by Bob Badansky, uh, with art by William Johnson. This was originally posted April 25th, 2022. Um, this one has dropped from the fair market value perspective, but it's gone up a little bit in the 9.4 graded average. So it has fallen significantly, um, about 45% down from $9.90 to five dollars and forty four cents uh, uh, for a raw copy. It, I'm still reporting a last sale in a nine point eight of one hundred ninety two dollars, and the nine point four average at the time of sharing this was fifty four dollars and fifty cents, and it is up to sixty two dollars and fifty cents for an almost fifteen percent gain on the nine point four. So when I share some of these books out and and I list the suggested price that sort of target grade for that price is a 9.4. So that's why I share the 9.4 average because that's the grade that you want to target when you're picking the book up raw in hopes that it can be a minimum of a 9.4 uh, 
and hopefully ends up being a 9.6 or 9.8 for you. Third book is Fantastic Four 347. This was released in December of 1990 uh, with cover art by the legendary Art Adams, who also did the interiors, and this was actually written by Walt Simonson. This is considered to be a key issue because it is the first appearance of the new Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, Hulk, Wolverine, and Ghost Rider. Um, this was shared out on April 26, 2022. Um, this has pretty much gone down in value since then across the board. So at the time of posting, it was an $11.17 fair market value, uh, dropping almost 52% down to $5.79. Uh, last sale in a 9.8 has dropped $18, um, about 11.5% down to $140 uh, from the reported $158 at the time I shared the book. And even the 9.4 average has suffered almost a 10% loss down from $57.50 to $52. Fourth book is Batman 451. Now, this one has had a, a nice uh, fair market value increase of almost uh, 51%. Uh, this is up $2.70 to $8.04 from the $5.34 fair market value that I shared on, the, on April 27th. Now, the last sale of this book, um, the reported last sale, that is down 36% from $250 to $160, and the 9.4 average has also suffered a bit of a loss, down 14%, or $8.50 off of the $60 reported 9.4 average. Now, this has a very, very cool uh, Joker cover by Norm uh, Breifogel. I think some people love this cover, and it's very reminiscent of maybe a cover that you would see uh, done by Todd McFarlane. Um, and just, I think people love the color scheme, but again, you've got a lot of uh, darker colors, purples and blacks in this, and it really, uh, again, lends itself to um, very unfortunate uh, defects that make it difficult to acquire uh, in a 9.8. And the last book here is Marvel Team Up number 150. This was released back in February of 1985. Uh, written by Louise Simonson and Jim Shooter, with pencils by Greg LaRoque, and a wonderful cover by Barry Windsor Smith. And this features Spider-Man and the X-Men. Uh, again, very similar to the Elektra Assassin, number five. You have a, a purple-based uh, background here that just uh, picks up those color-breaking spine ticks all day long. Uh, making this kind of a difficult one to get uh, in a 9.8. Now, this one has uh, more or less held steady. Uh, it has dropped in fair market value about 8.5%, down 85 cents off of uh, $10.05, down to $9.20. Uh, the last sale is still uh, $242, uh, no recent sales since, and 9.4 average is down a dollar or 2% uh, from $49 down to 48. So there you go, those are the five books. Um, I also offer uh, a suggested price and really it's just sort of a starting point uh, so that you don't overpay. Uh, certainly if you can find it for less than what I'm suggesting, even better. But you wanna target the book at a 9.4 or above raw for around that suggested price in order to maximize the return uh, for these books. And again, the, the point is looking at those, those sneaky ranges where uh, this particular book in a 9.8 um, really commands top dollar uh, when you look at the fair market value and, and it looks more like a $2, $5, $10 book, uh, but you can really um, add a tremendous amount of value if you're looking to acquire this book in high grade. In any case, uh, you'll want to target my suggested price and look for the book in a 9.4 or above to maximize that return on your investment. You can follow me on social media at Moneyball Comics on Instagram and Twitter, where I post these daily. Or you can certainly wait for these recaps here on my channel, 
where I'll be recapping the posts in this format and kind of show you how the data has changed since I originally shared the details of the book. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting and see you next time.